Hello and welcome to another episode of Fully Charged, coming to you from just outside a town called Bruck in Austria. Small town, a couple of thousand people live there, but what's special about it is they produce way more electricity in their local area than they consume. So they are selling electricity all over Austria and in fact, on occasions, all over Europe. Now, how do they do that? Well, they've got quite a lot of wind turbines and in fact this is the 50th wind turbine that they're installing. This is one of the blades. This gives you some idea of how huge these things are. Massive tower, huge cranes, but once it's up, it starts generating electricity without burning anything, which I think is quite a good idea. So I want to find out how Brook does this, how they do it economically, how it makes economic sense to put up wind turbines on land that are owned by all the people that live around here. There's lots of local investors in this, and there's also very large banks. Uh, including the European Investment Bank that are involved in making this project possible. So Michael, can you tell me then what is going on in this, in this beautiful town? Because I've just arrived and I don't know what's happening. We were founded in 1995 and there we started to bring in all the kinds of renewables in the area. Yeah? We started in, first of all, to summarise how much is the production here in the, in the area out of renewables and who are demands. So the aim was then to, to generate as much power locally to, uh, and to supply, and it, is, and it is essentially to supply the, the town we're in now. The, the town book on the letter is about 2,000 habit, inhabited, habitats, and um, the idea was to bring the electricity, the heat, or the, warm, the general electricity, electricity demand right. uh, to bring it in the town out of renewables. Well, and, was the, and was the town involved in investing in that? In those Not directly in the investing. At the beginning they were helping us and participate because Herbert Stauber was also directly in the municipality active right. as he was for you know, the town council for, yeah. for environmental issues. And so he started to think about the idea. And they tried to find what is necessary to bring enough heat, warmth and electricity and directly in the area. And the first project which was built was the biomass heating system with wood chips. Right. Um, and actually we are one third of all households in Pocondaleta takes out the energy, the heat for the heating systems of our wood chips. So that, and that's like a district heating system, so that's all the houses Standard connected. district heating right. systems which we are um, in cooperation with the EVN because this is a big um, supplier of energy in Lower Austria. Right. And so we, at the beginning, all started to think how to cooperate with partners, not to make everything for ourselves. Yeah. Concentrate on the things which we, which we can. Yeah. So we are local investors, local people who are living in the area, who a lot of them are farmers. It's so difficult to do everything. Yeah? Yes. So we, we started to make parts of this, take uh, corporations with partners who can do this very well um, and use also the participations of the state and the law and the politicians. But what it, what, what it sounds like though is not, it's not a big company from Vienna or Berlin or somewhere no. coming here and putting it on. It is generated, no, it's generated from the, here from directly the, from out of, from, from the bottom. Yeah, yeah which is so fantastic. The, yeah. the people who are living here or the our owners or our investors are mainly farmers. Yeah, and these farmers, they started and were interested and say, okay, we want to do things and we, we, are, we are normally using our agricultural fields for producing some uh, wheat or, or crops and now we are making wind. Right, yes. Wind electricity. They're farming wind. So, that, so I'm interested in the economics of the, the setups. In, in, investors are farmers and people out of the area. Right. They put in money because they think the renewable energy, this is the future. Yeah? And they started in 2099, went to give money. In 2002, there was an feed-in tariff system in Austria implemented, and therefore uh, they come out the earnings. And these right. earnings were used to pay our costs for the windmills, pay our costs for other things. Yeah. And the people always invest back because yes. they want to bring it forward, right. uh, to start wider. And in the last five years, we have erected windmills about three, nearly 300 million euro. Wow. Which wow. we have invested here in the area. 300 million euros yeah. invested. Wow, that is and, amazing. And um, therefore, for sure, we are all have 
banks in the background yes. perhaps just because <laughs> it's not uh, possible to make it out of yeah. equity and therefore now it's uh, it's a company who is earning a lot of money in cooperation with a lot of partners uh, we are using the windmills in this area our forest windmills are about 40 35 kilometers distance so it's right. really a, in a big a, area in kind of this area we yeah. are we are we are producing our electricity. I think it was in Germany the first time that wholesale electricity prices went negative, went to, and that had never, and that's now happened in the UK. Not very much, but for a few hours here and there last year, we had negative prices, mm -hmm. and that's really that must be a very difficult thing to, for everyone who generates electricity. It doesn't matter how you do it, but to deal with that, and that's, has that that's affected? But I think it's cost in a, Austria as well. Yeah, but I think it's it's. It's the future, yeah. There will yeah. be t times this energy wind or energy change yeah. means also that the market prices are Can different. Be, yeah. In this direction, this, and there will be times when also when it's hot solar panels and in the north of Europe a lot of wind yeah. or the all coal coal fired plants are all producing or atomic yeah. uh, producing. There is too much electricity yeah. in it. The discussion for this is. Who is this? Who wants to, has to step out of the system? Yeah. And this is a political discussion. Yes. Yeah. And this is also from our view what we want as, as consumer. Yeah. We want we use this coal electricity, atom electricity, or we want to use the renewable energy. Yeah. How many wind turbines uh, and how much can we you? We have in our in our in our company we have 49 windmills. The 50th windmill we are actually in in building, uh, building up. Right. We go there afterwards. And we are producing about 0.6% of the Austrian electricity demand per, per oh, year. For the whole country? For the whole country. Wow. Out of our area. Right. So about uh, 420 million kilowatt hours per year right. we are producing electricity. Because wow. I, I think I came here under the assumption that it was much small, what you were doing was much smaller, that it was just a few local people who'd invested. But that's outside banks and that has to be money from outside. Yeah. So where did, where did you go to? Yeah. to First of that? all, we started in, in 2000 and all our uh, projects in the last year with local banks, for sure. Right. But there, the border were, were very fast because more than five millions is a problem for a local right. bank. So we have to discuss with the bigger banks who is doing these big deals, uh, who is doing these big projects and supporting it. And if there is a support and, and therefore we found on the one hand, the bigger banks, but also at the beginning, since for five years, we, we have the contact to the European Investment Bank, uh, where they give us a frame for building and investing in, in renewable energy, AB funding it's called, and therefore uh, it was very interesting because the people are there and they have a lot of experience also how to step in the projects. Right. Often banks don't know so the details for these renewable energy projects, but they have a special team who is focusing on this area and who they also have the technicians inside. For, for example, the Re European Investment Bank, where you have experts in the technicians. So they actually know, and how, they know, know how it works. works. Right. They, they, they ask the right question, yeah. questions and, and check it out if it's a good project or not and yeah. it's helped and also they know the prob problems of time how fast you have to come into into a project development and on the one hand you need the money to erect or build up the windmills and not to, to discuss all parts yeah. several times. So Franz, thank you for letting me come and visit you in Siebersdorf and your amazing wind turbines. Can you tell me how the community got involved with this project to start with? Ja, herzlich willkommen hier in Silverstone. Freut mich, dass Sie hierher gekommen sind. Die Frage, wie weit wir äh, beteiligt sind in den ganzen Dinge. Die Gemeinde war von Haus aus beteiligt. Warum? Weil wir müssen die Grundstücke umwidmen. Anders gibt es keine Genehmigung für den Bau. Does the community benefit from having the turbines here? Die Gemeinde hat mehrere Vorteile davon. Erstens einmal eine naturnahe Stromproduktion und natürlich äh, kriegen wir auch Geld dafür. So was there anyone in the community that was, was said, oh, wind turbines, no, they're ugly, we don't want them? Bei solchen Projekten gibt es immer Gegner, keine Frage. Uh, nur man muss standhaft dagegen auftreten, man muss sachgemäß argumentieren und überzeugend argumentieren. Und das haben wir von Haus aus gemacht. Warum? Weil wir überzeugt sind, dass es ein zukunftsweisendes, vernünftiges Projekt ist.